let's talk about all mantras because we would say that about all of them okay for this reason when you focus now it's interesting that for most of you it is a word that does not already have a meaning so it does not have any negative attachment already associated with it in other words it's good that you didn't choose god as that word or money mm. or dad in other words <laughs> <laughs> So you choose a word that somebody made up because it doesn't mean anything to anyone. No one has negative attachment to it. And then you say, focus on this word. Focus on it completely. Focus on it so completely that you remove any other thought of any other thing from your mind. And in doing so, your vibration must raise. So now you think that no matter what the word if it focuses your consciousness enough to stop resistance, to, to let you uh, be in a place of non-resistance in your thought, then it will automatically improve. We teach meditation as a method to raise vibration. And in meditation, we encourage you to have no thought, quiet your mind. Well, that's hard for most of you because you've trained your minds to be responsive to things. And so to just put it on pause and find nothing to think about, it's much easier to find gum. It's much easier to find something and focus on it than it is to find nothing because you're, you're trained to focus. So that's the power of these mantras. It, you focus on something that does not already have negative attachment. It's like... Your natural vibration is high, like on the surface of the water, and when you hold the cork under the water, that would be resistance. But when you let go of it, the cork naturally bobs back up to the surface. And that's what you are like when you let go of whatever it is you're doing that is causing the resistance, you naturally bob back up. So we say to our friends, we teach you meditation because it's easier to teach you to have no thought than to have pure positive thought. We would rather see you in a state of appreciation because in appreciation, there's no resistance either. Mm -hmm. But to ask you to appreciate someone who's been making you crazy is asking the impossible, where to ask you to say, go, <laughs> is easier. So are you saying then that uh, the, oh, in fact, I just answered my own question. I was about to, the belief that some mantras have specific effect is based on the belief only? Well, yes. yes. <laughs> I know you were going to say that. <clears throat> but that's not a bad thing because what that is saying is I'm living a situation that has caused me to feel that I've got some resistance and I can tell that who I really am is over here and who I'm being is over here. And so I'm choosing this thought and using it as a guide in order to move myself into a better vibration. And so we see that as very deliberate intent. And in other words, when you look into religions or many methodologies, you discover all kinds of symbols like that, where someone has crafted some thing, sometimes it's a, an object, sometimes it's a thought, sometimes it's a sound, and they tell you what its benefit to you is. And when you focus with the expectation of that benefit, you close a vibrational gap. That's a good thing. Just don't get into wars with each other as you argue over who's got the right symbol. <laughs>